Hello, my name is Frances Sheridan. I was originally a student here in NCI many moons ago where I did the higher certificate in computing and then I went on and did the BSc in computing and I specialised in software systems and now I'm a lecturer here in NCI. Um, I teach introductory computer programming to first year students in the school. Um, to me, I think learning and teaching is really important. I would put a lot of emphasis on trying new things in the classroom. I don't like to just go in and do your typical kind of lecture, you know, leave students. I like students to get stuck in and to get their hands dirty and to get to play around with the programs and to really to try and understand what's going on as opposed to just memorise what's going on. So I, I like to try new things, I suppose. So learning and teaching is a big thing for me. So I teach Java programming. Um, we do kind of introductory stuff, so start at the very beginning and teach, teach students all the basics. I do both. The flipped classroom is one of my newer uh, teaching methods that I've tried out with the first year students where um, students get presented with all of the lecture content via video and so they watch a video lecture at home and then they come to class and where normally you would do your homework at home where you try to put into practice everything you've learned, we do homework in class now and it means that I always kind of refer back to when you learned maths in secondary school. The teacher would show you one maths example and you'd go home and try it and then you'd get to the example you hadn't seen before and you might stop and not finish your homework. This way the students get to that par part where they're stuck and I'm there in the classroom to help them finish it. Um, it's becoming more popular in third level. It probably started in the States or certainly that's where the credit would go um, in high school and things like that. But it's becoming more and more popular in third level education now but it's still relatively new. So I started flipping my classroom last January, so a year ago now. Um, I flipped my second semester programming module and since then a number of lecturers in the school have adopted it. So now we have a flipped classroom in HTML and web design. We have flipped elements in web development and in a number of other modules, maths especially. Yep, so I have a YouTube channel, um, Francis Sheridan, and I host all of my videos for the students on YouTube. And then we have a Moodle, um, a Moodle account where the students get access to all of the videos built into lessons and quizzes and things like that, just to make them a little more interactive for the students. But all of the videos are hosted on YouTube as well. Students love it. Yeah, students really enjoy it. They like that they can pause me, rewind me, try to understand what I've said again. Some, a lot of them will watch the videos over and over again. What's particularly interesting for me is the week of exams when the hits on the YouTube channel spike because students are panicking and watching everything all over again. Um, and so I suppose on a very basic level if they did nothing other than that, they're, they're, they're at least helping them to revise, you know, but they seem it's been positive so far. The results have improved too, which is good. Um, well, I mean, we get a broad range of students on the course at the minute. The typical cohort on the daytime program would be your, you know, leaving certificate students who have just finished school. Um, but more and more, we're getting an increasing number of mature students who are returning to education after a long time. Some students have done PLC courses beforehand. Um, we also apply all the same methods and videos in the evening courses, where it's all people who are working full time and they've they're doing this probably to get their qualification even though they're already working in IT. It's suitable for anyone who has an interest in, in computing and in, in, I mean there's specialisations and everything, programming does run through the programme, um, through the entire course, but it's anyone who has a logical mind and likes to solve problems I think really.